And so the starting position is four inches, the ending position is 14 inches, and the diameter is 2.5 inches. The rest of this is pre-filled out for us. So we can push finish and save. So if we go over here and say generate cheat code, so let's go to the machine and see what the cutting results actually do to this part. While it's plunging into the material while rotating, it's making sure that it's climb milling the exposed corners to help prevent tear out during the machining process. The reason it shifts off center is so that the cut is swinging with the grain of the material instead of cross grain cuts. This gives us a better finish. Once it reaches the end position of our turning round section, it squares off the corners once again. The surfacing cutter will then repeat this process until it gets to our final diameter of 2.5 inches. Now the finish pass is going to repeat the exact same process, but it has a slightly different step over. The default step over in Conversational Cam Pro is an eighth of an inch for the finish pass. This is to ensure a nice smooth finish down the entire length of this turning. All the cutting advantages that were explained here are automatically built into CCAM Pro and will be applied to every turning round toolpath.